and welcome to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. This one is the Poisonous Trail Treasure Hunt. In this guide I will take you through every map location and every treasure location. So without further ado, let's begin. The first map that starts this Easter Egg Treasure Hunt is up in Cairn Lake, right up north where you begin your Red Dead story. Now, if you've already got this first piece from previously visiting this area, brilliant. If you haven't, get yourself up to Cairn Lake, get inside the cabin that you will see on the far side of the frozen lake. Just head inside the cabin. There's a bed on the right hand side, a table with a few pieces of food directly in front of you, and just a little stall to the left. Now you want to look under the bed that's on the right hand side and you will find a lockbox. Open it up and inside you will find the first piece of this treasure trail. So now the poisonous trail treasure hunt begins. So head outside, jump on your horse and uh, head to the first location. Now if you want to check the map you will see that it's in a location that has a rock that looks like a face. Hmm, I wonder where that can be, a rock that looks like a face. Could it be, I wonder, Face Rock? Now head down to Face Rock which is down west of Ring Neck Creek shown there on the screen. As you approach on the main path you will see Face Rock itself up on the hill. So approach, jump off, check your map again if you have to. Now as the map indicates, uh, you have to head right of the face, head behind the tree that you can see there on the top. Once you get behind the tree, head down and slightly to the left and you're looking for what looks like to be a burnt out tree or a chopped down tree. So head on round there get to that tree once you reach the burnt out tree you will be prompted to search as like all treasure hunts reach inside the tree and grab the next treasure map for the next piece of this easter egg treasure hunt now this second map itself will take you now to the map which will lead you to the final treasure so we're almost done now this map itself indicates it's on some kind of mound in the middle, uh, maybe within a pile of rocks. I wonder where that one is. Oh wait, this is a guide. You're about to find out. So the next location itself is west of Van Horn. Southwest of the Human Mutant House. Now there's the map itself. As you can see, just below the mutant house, head to that location. If you're coming in on the path from the west, come off the path when you reach the designated location and just head up the hill. And if you're coming from the Van Horn direction from the east along the path, you want to turn left up the hill. Head up to the top of that hill and you'll find those mounds on the top with the rocks in the middle. The rocks look like some kind of eye and bang in the middle is a hole you can search and inside is the final map that takes us to our treasure. So taking a look at the final map itself, it is going to take us yet again, like a previous treasure hunt, the high stakes one, to another waterfall. But this is not the same waterfall as the other treasure hunt. This one is located in Elysian Hall, which is south of Annersburg. Nice and simple to find, nice open lake area with the waterfall tucked at the back. Upon reaching the area, hitch up your horse, jump off and make your way along the side of the rocks. There's no need to swim in there, you don't want to try and drown or burn all your energy out, just work your way along the side until you enter the waterfall. Now it's a little bit of a maze inside, so I'll do my best to guide you through. Now, once you're inside the waterfall, the navigation to begin is quite simple. Climb up the left side of this, where the water is, follow the path along, pop out your lantern, I would recommend, it does get pretty dark down here, 
Now, to begin with, you're literally just following a simple, straight path through the tunnel. You'll eventually come out into a slight opening with a drop down on the right hand side and you'll see a slight slope. You need to work your way down the side of that slope, all the way down, dropping down. You cannot die, just keep falling all the way down. Now, once you are down, you're gonna need to crouch, work your way along, and on the right hand side will be an opening. Now, head through the opening, remaining crouched. Once you're through to the other side, you will reach a fork in the cave. Head around the right side and immediately right again into a small opening in which you will see a lantern and a few boxes. One of those boxes is a loot box. This is not the treasure, but you're gonna to wanna to take this anyway because inside is a large jewelry bag. Now, as soon as you have taken the jewelry bag, Look directly behind you, and there is another path in this room. You do not need to leave the room the way you come in. There is a path directly behind you. Now just head up that path. Continue to follow that path along until you come out again into another opening. But once you get out, stop. You will notice you are on a ledge. The right hand side is a dead end. You want the left side. To the left side, there are two openings. You have to jump across run sprint jump you want the bottom opening head down inside and then jump up to the ledge on your left once up you'll get an option to search reach into the rocks and claim your treasure you will obtain four gold bars as well as the large jewelry bag Right, now that you've got your gold, you wanna gonna get out of this place. So head up through the hole that you came down, but as soon as you get out of the hole, immediately turn right and start climbing up into the hole that was above it. Head through the hole, you'll come to another fork, follow the path down on the right, it will lead you all the way down to the little hole that you crouch down into to get into this section. Go through the little hole, and then you just make your way back up the slope that you came down to get there. Once you've got to the top of that slope, you're literally on the path to exit this cave. Run along, follow it through, and boom, you are now out of the cave. Now, I hope this guide was useful. Uh, if it was, brilliant. If not, well, I tried. Maybe next time. Either way, thank you very much for watching yet another video on Red Dead Redemption 2. I'll be back again tomorrow for another.